Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you another problem that I've run into with interchangeable knitting needles and how I've gone about solving it. So in my previous video, I showed you how to fix basically the join between the metal piece and the cord when that breaks. That happens to me quite frequently. And now another common thing that tends to happen to me is that the knitting needles get stuck on the cord. So basically what can happen is over time, the threads on either the knitting needle or on the interchangeable cord can get a little misaligned. And then essentially it becomes really hard to either tighten or unscrew the knitting needle. So this is the problem with this one's actually on the cord, not the knitting needle. And I know that just because it doesn't matter what knitting needle I put on this cord, they always tend to get jammed up. And so basically what happens is even when I have the little key in there, I can't turn this knitting needle at all. Like I am trying as hard as possible. <laughs> now for comparison, this other side is perfectly fine. It unscrews very easily. So that side, perfectly fine. Other side, stuck. So what I found works fairly well is if you take a rubber band and you just start wrapping it around the knitting needle. And this is kind of similar to like those can grip openers, like you know those circle ones that you can use to loosen up cans? So basically I just kind of gather my rubber band up on the knitting needle, push it a little bit down towards the bottom. And now I'm gonna use this rubber band to help me grip it and twist it. And you can see it's already starting to come off a little bit. So I'm further than I was before without the rubber band. And now once I reach a certain spot, it becomes a little bit easier, but I can now get it off. And that is one way I found to get stuck knitting needles off of interchangeable cords. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them down below and I'll see you in my next video.